welcome to Sweet Art Made Simple, and today it is about simple. I have made some beautiful wedding cookies, but I'm going to show you a really simple design using fondant and some royal icing. Sometimes to get an elegant looking dessert, you just have a few details on it and it really does make it beautiful. So I'm making these for a friend who's getting married. I want to show you the ingredients and then we're going to get started decorating. All right, here we have the cookie cutter that I used to make these beautiful wedding gown cookies. You're definitely going to need this cookie cutter because that's what we're going to use to cut out our fondant. I'm using white fondant today. I'm also going to show you how to make these really beautiful, super simple roses that I dried out. So we're going to put them on our cake as well. And then to make our royal icing, where you take a half a cup of powdered sugar, a half a tablespoon of meringue powder. We're going to mix that together and add little bits of water to get to the consistency that we want. Now, if you don't have meringue powder, you can just use one egg white from one egg into the half a cup of powdered sugar and you'll be fine, but you won't need as much water. All right, let's get decorating. You can see that I already put the fondant on two of my cookies. I'm gonna show you how simple it is. You're just gonna roll out your fondant using a fondant roller. Take your cookie cutter and just press down. Now, I don't like to put, bring the cookie cutter up. I like to pull the sides away. That way you get an actually cleaner look on your cookie, then pull it down. If your fondant is really sticky, you can dip your um, cookie cutter in some powdered sugar. I'm just going to take some water. You can use a finger or just a little pastry brush. Some decorators actually use corn syrup. Some people dilute the fondant to make a little paste, but water just seems to work just fine for me. All right, now I'm going to show you. I made the royal icing. Now this is the consistency that I like. It's a little thick because I'm going to be doing some work. If I was going to do flooding, I probably wouldn't make it as thick. Um, I ended up just putting two teaspoons of water to add to this. Now it's going to get a little more um, liquidy just because I'm going to add some color. I'm going to use um, Regal Purple to get a purple color. Now one thing about purple and pink is that it does fade. The colors fade after you use it, so um, that's why it's going to be pretty bright. All right, I'm gonna take a number two tip, which is one of the smallest tips, and go ahead and stick it inside my bag. This is a disposable decorator bag that you could use any kind of bag. You could actually use a Ziploc bag, as long as it was the heavy duty kind. I'm just gonna poke that through. Then I always kind of create a sleeve like this, and then I just dump. Now when I'm doing string work like this where it's real detailed, I don't put a lot of frosting in here. That's about as much as I'm going to put in. All right, now that's sitting for a few minutes to get the color all incorporated. I'm going to just twist that a little bit. I'm going to show you how to make these cute roses. So just using the fondant that I just had, I'm going to just do a small piece. I don't need to roll it all out. Sometimes you think as you go. All right, I'm going to roll this out. You can use this with a knife or a pizza cutter. I'm just going to make some strips. And you can just kind of eyeball it a little bit. Did you know that fondant sticks to fondant? <laughs> all right. So I'll just make one just to show you. All right, I'm just gonna do about an inch and a half strip like this. And then what I do is I just fold over and as I turn, I flare out like that. And then I just kind of pinch it off. It makes a tiny little rosebud. I'm just gonna set it aside and let that dry. Now I let these dry overnight so they're nice and perfect for our uh, decorating. All right, now we're ready to decorate. So I'm just going to use do a simple design. I always test my frosting out first on a board. First, I'm just going to give her a little waistband. Sometimes you can look up on Google or Pinterest and look at other ideas before you actually do things because that gives you ideas and not waste your time. So the first one I'm going to do is I'm going to do a bow and 
And if you don't draw real fast, you can actually use a little toothpick and make little marks to be a guide. Okay. So that's my first one. And I'm going to pop a little rose right here. And that will dry like that. Okay, this one, I'm going to do a different design. Just like that. And I'll do a rose right here. And then this design, we do more of like a Cinderella dress. I don't know if you can see, but I don't drag my tip onto the cookie. I'm actually kind of lifting it off and I'm giving it a chance to just drag out. I'm just pushing my icing as I go. And do a rose there. So that's just very simple and sweet for a wedding. That's what it's all about. Just elegant, very pretty. I'll let these dry for about a half an hour and actually can put those in bags and make them as wedding favors for the guests that come or just make it a real pretty thing to put on the table at a wedding. I hope you enjoy this video. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. We're loading videos all the time. Remember to stay sweet and simple. See you next time.